Hey guys, welcome back to part five of learning how to overcome your thoughts. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit more about thoughts and some practical steps that we can use to learn how to replace all of the lies the devil puts in your mind and that you've been believing for so many years and learn how to firmly stand on God's truth. James 1, 4 says, and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Always remember that this isn't a race, right? We're not trying to get to the finish line. We are trying to learn how to be peaceful in every situation, trusting and allowing God to move and do what only he can do. So don't be in a rush, right? Walk with God and learn how to enjoy what you're doing. Learn how to see the obstacles that you're facing and just trust that God is gonna use it for good, right? We know Romans 8, 28 says, for those that love God, all things work together for good according to those who follow his purpose. So just trust and believe that God is good. We know that thoughts are going to come, but that doesn't mean that we have to think about them. And what's the word I want? Think about them and um, dwell on them, right? Um, my coach used to tell me, think about it like having a baby in a car. You can't put the baby in the trunk because that's not safe. You'll get pulled over and go to jail, right? Also, the baby can't drive the car because again, you're in jail, it's bad. So it's really important to remember that the baby goes in the car seat. It's the same thing with thoughts. We can't stuff our thoughts because then it hurts pushing them down and we're not dealing with them, right? But they also can't control what we're doing because then they're going to cloud our minds and cloud our judgments and we're going to think and react from an emotional state instead of truly taking a step back and going, you know, what do I believe to be true? Like, what is a lie and what would I rather think? So think about what you do before you react. Pray and ask God to be with you. You know, he's strong in our weakness. There's nothing that we have to do on our own. And it's so comforting to know that he is in control. So even if things aren't working out the way that we think they should, God has a plan and he can use it for our good. So you might be asking yourself, how can you control your thoughts? It's actually really simple once you start doing it, right? I used to be an incredibly negative person. Like I was always looking for the other shoe to drop, always seeing the glasses half empty. But once I started being aware of what I was thinking and I stopped being a victim to my thoughts, I learned to identify what I was thinking, shift the thought, and then I just kept thinking it over and over again. It's like when you're tending a garden, right? If you're planting a flower, you can't just let it there and do nothing else with it. It's gonna die. It's the same thing with a new thought. You have to go through and take out all the weeds, which is all the negative thoughts, and then you have to plant those new thoughts, those seeds, and you have to water them and you have to nurture them, and it's going to take time for them to grow. So remember that you can replace that thought initially, but you have to continue to choose to think on it. Thank you for coming and joining me today, and I will see you again next week.